Hey, what is up guys? Tom Spark here with another video. And today I'm gonna be talking to you about how to make QBitTorrent completely anonymous. Now, if you're not aware, QBitTorrent is a pretty cool app. It's kind of like uTorrent, the popular BitTorrent app that a lot of people use. Um, but QBitTorrent is completely open source. It has a lot of cool features. It's free to use and there isn't any ads on it. What's the catch? Well, there really isn't one. There are a couple other options out there and I've made a comparison video if you want to check that out between uTorrent, Vuz, QBitTorrent, and Deluge. My basic consensus from that video was that QBitTorrent and Deluge are the best torrent apps to use out there for free. So if you don't feel like watching it, that's fine. You just stay here and finish the rest of this one to find out how to make QBitTorrent anonymous. So guys, QBitTorrent is a great app like I just said. However, most torn apps or pretty much every torn app out there has vulnerabilities. The vulnerability comes in with your internet, basically the way P2P protocols work and the way you download torrents through an app like QBitTorrent is you load in a torrent magnet link and when you do that and you start downloading, you're essentially downloading from other people that are actually sharing the link. So in order for this kind of sharing to take place, public IP addresses must be known and files will be distributed amongst um, users. The only thing is that when you download a file, your IP address is public. It's part of what's called a BitTorrent swarm, and it can actually be viewed very easily if you go to the peer section of your BitTorrent program. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, but anyways guys, using QBitTorrent or any torrent app out there without a VPN or a proxy, you're gonna be public to anyone that wants to look at your IP. So the bad news is, is there are a lot of companies out there looking for users not using VPNs or proxies to kind of write down their IP and then send it to an internet service provider, which is then their responsibility to send you a letter in the mail or something like that, threatening cancellation or fines if you don't stop downloading content. So guys, this has actually happened before to a lot of people. And while some people just think it's fine not to use VPN or proxy because they've never gotten a layout, a letter in the mail, it's only really a matter of time. So guys, let's go ahead and try to see how to use QBitTorrent anonymously. All right guys, so here I actually have a torrent file loaded. And essentially what this is gonna be like, if you have downloaded your torrent, this is gonna be the torrent file. So you could go ahead and start that up. Um, I'm gonna start that up. As you can see right here already, we are showing IPs of other users that are sharing this file and me that are downloading it. So of course some of these are going to be um, users that are using a VPN or a proxy, but a lot of these users are actually going to be um, the real IP addresses of these users. So if you go ahead and like look up one of these IP addresses, you'll be able to actually find where this person is in the real world. You can already see there's some information like the United States and the UK and other places. But when someone knows your IP address like this, I mean, it's not the end of the world per se, but they can easily find uh, your real world location around the city that you're in. And the way this works is that um, these copyright companies and stuff, they could see where these IPs are coming from. So let's say you're Comcast. So that's how they get in contact with your internet service provider company. And that's how essentially you're gonna get that um, you know, interaction with your internet service provider after downloading stuff without a VPN or proxy. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to stay anonymous with Qubit Torrent, even when you're downloading torrents like this. So guys, you really have two methods here. You can use the VPN or proxy method. Now, each method has its advantages and disadvantages. So which one should you use and why? Well, if you're kind of paranoid and you live in a country where torrenting stuff and general copyright rights are copyright laws are really strict, you're probably going to want to use a VPN. Um, the reason is, is that a VPN is an app on your computer that pretty much encrypts all your outgoing traffic and makes you completely anonymous. Your ISP is not going to be able to see that you're torrenting at all. They're not going to be able to see anything about your internet connection really because it's encrypted. They're not going to be able to decrypt that anytime soon. So a VPN is a really good ultra safe solution. Now the cons are that it might impact your speeds, speeds slightly depending on the VPN that you choose. Um, and it's also kind of a hassle to remember to start it up every time before you start torrenting. So guys, the second option is gonna be 
um, a proxy. So a proxy is not going to be as secure as a VPN since it's just um, pretty much kind of verified through your QBitTorrent app. So when that happens, um, you're basically assigned a new anonymous IP, which makes it so your ISP can't isolate and track you down for downloading specific torrents. Your ISP is still going to know that you're torrenting, but they're not going to know what you're torrenting or um, basically be able to isolate you. So if there's not going to be any encryption involved like a VPN, so they'll still be able to see that you're torrenting like I said. But um, a proxy is going to be cool because you're just going to pretty much log into it on your torrent app, save and you're good to go. Additionally, since there's not as much encryption involved as a VPN, you're going to probably get better speeds. So guys, it's really up to you on which one you want to pick. Now you could also go the VPN router route, VPN router route if you want to do that. I have a couple videos on the channel with mini VPN routers and stuff like that which is pretty similar to how you'd set up any uh, VPN router. Essentially what you do is you set up that router, connect any device to it that you want, and your computer's always just gonna have that permanent VPN Wi-Fi connection. So you could download like that as well if you want. So go ahead and check out some of those VPN routers uh, videos on the channel. Just go ahead and search for VPN router. You should be able to find a couple that should help you out. Or check out my website, Best 10 VPN. Um, I have some VPN router guides there as well. But anyways, guys, I'm going to show you how to do those two methods today. Um, how to secure Qubit Torrent completely anonymously with a VPN or a proxy. So first of all, let's start off with a VPN. All right, guys, today I'm going to be using a TorGuard VPN. They're my top rated VPN. And if you've been on the channel before, you probably have seen me talk about them. So anyways, we're going to be showing you TorGuard just because this is my main VPN driver that I like to use. Um, another good option you can use is private internet access because it's just so cheap and all. it also offers some similar features that TorGuard does. But another reason I like using TorGuard with BitTorrent is because they also offer an included BitTorrent proxy with the main VPN subscription. So it's really like you're getting uh, two products for one. So guys, you're going to launch up that TorGuard app. Pretty much what you're going to do is buy it from the website. Um, if you want a discount on that, use code BEST10VPN. That's going to give you 50% off. So go ahead and buy that. After you do that, you're going to get an email with your credentials. So that's going to how you're going to be logged into here. Once you do that, after you download it and install it and everything, pretty simple to go. Just going to go ahead and connect. Um, pick a server that's kind of close by to your location. For this video, I just put um, a Seattle for now. So. I actually have something downloading right now on um, another game. So that's why there's a little bit of a delay there. But as you can see now, guys, I am connected. This is my remote IP that I have. So this is my anonymous IP. Um, and when I'm downloading this torrent, no one's going to be able to see my real IP. So internet service providers aren't going to know I'm torrenting right now. They can't really read anything about my traffic. And as you can see, this torrent is getting started up again here. And there you go. So guys, that's pretty much it for the VPN. Um, it's a little bit of hassle long term maybe in terms of downloading um, stuff every time. You have to start it up and stuff like that. But you can see I'm still getting pretty good speeds here. And um, it's uh, probably the safest method that you can use. You can see my speeds are going to probably keep going up too. But anyways guys, um, let's go on to the proxy method and show you how to do that with Qubit Torn. Because it's a little bit more tricky to start up, but perhaps long term um, less of a hassle. Go ahead and disconnect, and we're going to open up Qubit Torrent here. So, guys, with TorGuard, you're going to use those same credentials that you just used to log in. You're going to go to Tools. Let's go ahead and stop that download. Go to Tools, Options, and then you're going to go to Connection. So, guys, you're going to pick the type for Sox5. Host is going to be proxy.torguard.org. Um, you're going to want to click all these pretty much. And then you're gonna enter in your credentials for TorGuard and then start it up. It's really that simple. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Anytime you use a um, torrent magnet link, you can install it with a keyboard torrent this way and start downloading. It's gonna use that proxy. Your IP is gonna be TorGuard's proxy IP. You're gonna be completely anonymous that way, guys. So there you go. You have two options, VPN and proxy. I already went over the differences. Uh, TorGuard's proxy plan is around $6 a month. Their VPN is around $10 a month. If you want to use my code best10vpn.com, you could reduce that price in half, or if you want to get a longer 
term commitment, you could get even a better deal. You could get maybe thirty dollars um, for an entire year. So consider that, guys. Um, another option is private internet access. You can check out my review on them as well. Pretty decent VPN. Guys, let me know if you have any comments down in the description down below. My name is Thomas Spark, logging out of another VPN tutorial.